बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम डॉक्टर हुसैन बशपोलाची यूट्यूब चैनल से हम आपसे मुखातिब हैं और दिस इस डॉक्टर हुसैन बशपोलाची यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द हाइजेनिक गाइडलाइंस फॉर द ओफल्स एंड एनिमल रिमेंस हाउ टू डिस्पोज ऑल दिस थिंग्स बिकॉज़ ईदुल अदा हैज रिसेंटली been ended and in the whole muslim world lot of sacrificial animals were slaughtered so coming to this point i think uh, the youtube channel will give you some update guidelines uh, which we have collected from different countries and from different books uh, the eid al adha is one of the islamic uh, ritual and uh, on the 10th of zil hajj every year uh, the uh, eid al adha is held and before that in saudi arabia in mecca the pilgrimage or the hajis they congregate and offer the hajj rituals and the hajj ibadats and the rukuns and ultimately on the 10th of uh, zil hajj eid or the celebration is held and in the memory of uh, hazrat ibrahim alay salam who on the uh, instruction or revelation of the allah sacrifice the hazrat ismail alay salam but god uh, had another design and a lamb or sheep was slaughtered at the end and hazrat ismail survived and with no harm and no cut on the body so the muslims they are following the traditions of hazrat ismail alay salam and hazrat ibrahim alay salam and the animals are sacrificed on the uh, eid al adha so this is uh, another point that you can see that labbaik uh, allahumma labbaik is one of the talbiya or uh, repetition which the hajis do during the hajj and uh, this is the infection chart which shows that from the animals you can have bacteria you can have uh, uh, parasites you can have uh, viruses and you can have also the fungal infections uh, this is uh, uh, some kind of uh, literature which shows that during the hajj uh, many things are to be considered from the islamic point of view and from the medical point of view uh, then coming to the uh zoonotic diseases are the infections which can be transferred from the animals to the human and particularly here uh, four categories of the animals which are sheep goat camel and cattle means cows uh, buffaloes and other animals are considered as one of the important uh, uh sacrificial animal and they are called halal and they should be of at least uh, if it is cattle of two years and sheep and goat of one year so there is a complete code that uh, all the animals should be healthy and if uh, you find anything which is unhygienic and unhealthy in the uh hajj are the sacrificial animals with any disability any disease or any deformity they are not allowed to be slaughtered and even the female animals as well as the milking animals they are not allowed to be slaughtered and this is the way how the cut is given to the animals at least three arteries of the neck should be cut and this is the holy kaaba uh, and uh, here the hajis are uh, giving their uh, instructions are the rukun of the hajj and this is tawaf in which in round circle they have to 
move around the Kaaba, the first house of the Allah, and uh, built by Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. Uh, so that is a very important uh, tradition as well as the uh, uh Almost 70% of the zoonotic diseases are infections nowadays observed in the hospitals and clinics. They are of the zoonotic origin. Um, I have already shown you that you can see that there are many bacteria in which asperges. These are the fungal infections which are mentioned here. Uh, you will find more. Uh, this is another uh, view that shows that how the, this is. These are the notifiable fungal infections which the uh, different uh, authorities and uh, World Animal uh, Health Organization. So these are almost five, six important categories in which viruses, parasites are there. If they are found in any animal, then they should be dealt according to the guidelines of that country. These are the guidelines in which before slaughtering, you have to clean the place and uh, you have to dig a pit in which you can dispose easily uh, the remains as well as any material or any tissue which is even the blood and then it should be covered and a lime layer is also recommended not to be uh, washed with the lime water but that pit and the cover can be so that uh, no infection or no smell or nuisance is there. This is how the sacrifices and animals are brought and almost um, one million animals are needed in every Hajj, but their number is increasing because the population of the Muslim and the people who are Performing Hajj is increasing even in Pakistan. Uh, almost, uh, almost uh, one million animals are brought to the mandis during the Hajj days. So we must have uh, important guidelines with us. And the person who is slaughtering should have a proper PPE or apron as well as uh, the gloves and. Uh, the hand washing facilities before and after the slaughtering. And in Islamic, it is the wazu or wudu or ablution, which is important. And we perform all these in a direction in which the neck should be towards the west side. And the person should be Muslim and should be adult. Uh, so you can have, this is a slaughterhouse, modern slaughterhouse. You can see the PPE as well as a proper training. And you can see that how the slaughterhouse is there. So we recommend even in Pakistan that we should follow. This is a healthy sign of a cough or the uh, auxins, which is to be considered uh, this is another uh, beautiful picture. This is uh, another cilantro house. So at the end, I think uh, I will end that the hygienic disposal as well as the healthy animal and uh, the mandis or the markets of the animals should not be spreading in every nook and corner of the city but they should be designated and the animals should not be purchased earlier and should not be tied in the house or outside the house so that a public comfort and hygienic condition. And now in Karachi, 91, uh, 91 tons of uh, offals and other uh, the remains of the animals have been disposed of and they are buried. The one instruction is that it should not be buried at least 30 feet near the water source or any water pipeline which is not 
uh, properly uh, in a proper uh, uh, construction or it is a loose one or broken one. So please avoid this. And uh, I think with this, we end this video and you will like and you will share and you will have a comments in future. I think some of the guidelines will be followed, particularly the hand washing and the disposal of the slaughtered material immediately near in a safe place and a proper dressing training as well as a no disease should be in the uh, slaughtered or in the sacrificial animal. And uh, if there is any kind of uh, disposal problem, then the municipal committees, health department, animal health, and the university can also issue guidelines and help the community create awareness. Dr. Singh Bishkola, YouTube channel is thanking you. Thank you very much.